Hello, my name is Zach Kedd. I'm the Associate Pastor of Worship and Discipleship at Forest Lake United Methodist Church in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. And today I want to talk to you about the Psalter reading from traditional worship this week, which comes from Psalm 66, verses 8 through 20. The Psalms in general are a shared source of worship material, really. They are songs of praise, songs of lament. Um, they are shared prayers, really. And so when we go through our Psalter reading each week, we are using some words that have been honored by our faith tradition that are ancient. We, we use these words that have been used by other Christians and Jews for millennia to call out to God. And so when we say these words, they truly are someone else's words. But we find week after week that these words connect with our very souls, that as we sing them and say them together, they wind up being the very song of our hearts going out to God. And so each time that I read through a psalm, I'm trying to find what the Holy Spirit is saying to me and what my soul would like to say to God in return. And so as I read Psalm 66 this week, the words are kind of difficult for me um, because they talk about praising God even though God allows us to feel pain and suffering. As I've mentioned in some of the previous videos during our quarantine social distancing time together, we are experiencing suffering together during this time, and that suffering is very real. And so here uh, in Psalm 66, let's see here, it says um, in verse 11 and 12, You brought us into the net. You laid affliction on our loins. You let people ride over our heads. We went through fire and through water. Yet you have brought us forth to a spacious place. Just before that, in verse 10, it talks about how God has tested us or has allowed us to be tested as silver is tested. Silver goes through a refining process. Most, um, most precious metals go through this refining process, and it involves heat, heating up that metal so that everything else that is not that pure metal comes rising to the top and can be taken out so that all is left is that precious metal. Suffering is a lot like that for us. Suffering can be a refining process. And so as I read through this psalm this week, this is what I hear the Holy Spirit saying to me, perhaps to us. Though you feel uncomfortable, though you are experiencing suffering, and it is true, God is allowing this to happen to us. Know that God can take that hurt, that uncomfortable experience, that suffering, and allow it to be a process in which we are refined, a process in which the very image of God is what shines through in the midst of our suffering. I know that these are difficult words. I hope, once again, that you won't hear me downplaying your suffering or the suffering of others. That suffering is very real and valid. But let us trust in the one who calls out to us and says, the worst is never the last. May our corporate and individual suffering during this time be the beginning of something great.